this great nation of ours, and have oftentimes paid the ultimate sacrifice in providing for our safety. The American soldier has at all times shown himself strong and proud whenever and wherever the people of the United States of America have requested. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and give a round of applause for your soldiers and our nation's newest warriors. common knowledge that the American soldier has to be physically fit to accomplish the myriad of missions required. Drill Sergeant Delgado will now introduce you to, way, to the way an American soldier becomes physically fit and stays fit. 
We conduct physical fitness training, also known as PT, on a daily basis. Alternating run days with muscular strength and endurance days. Today, the squad prepares for muscular strength and endurance.
The winners of each platoon bout then compete for the battery championship in the light, medium, and heavyweight divisions. Watch as these two great soldiers demonstrate a typical combative bout. We would like to take a moment to describe the uniform of the U.S. Army soldiers. These eight soldiers will demonstrate these uniforms. The first uniform is the Summer Winter Physical Fitness Uniform, also known as the PT Uniform. The winter PT pants, long sleeve shirt, PT jacket, as well as shoes and socks are worn with this uniform. The next uniform is the Army Combat Uniform, known as the ACU. This is the regular duty uniform. It is a wrinkle-free uniform with a digitized camouflage pattern. The complete Army combat uniform consists of a patrol cap, blouse, trousers, moisture wicking t-shirt, and the brown combat boots. The combat version of the Army combat uniform includes the following additional gear. The advanced combat helmet, known as the ACH, interceptor body armor, known as the IBA, knee and elbow pads, eye protection, ear protection, and the load bearing vest known as the LBV. The Advanced Combat Helmet provides the lightweight, ballistic, and impact protection, weighing just over 3 pounds. The Interceptor Body Armor is equipped with front and back removable plates, which can stop 7.62mm rounds. Knee and elbow pads come as inserts or as outerwear to the uniform. Eye protection safeguards the eyes from shrapnel and fragmentation. The load-bearing equipment aids in carrying essential equipment. The last uniform you see is the Army Service Uniform. This is a dress uniform reserved for special occasions and ceremonies. The nameplate is located on the right side and ribbons and awards are on the left side. Order! Four. Right! Push! Four! 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 Please give these soldiers a round of applause. All right, at this time, Private First Class Heather Bumpus is being recognized for her superior performance, motivation, and professionalism for Class 55-13. At this time, we will award her with the Army Achievement Medal.
Class Medal Olympic is awarded the Army Achievement Medal for being selected as a distinguished honor graduate of the cycle for basic combat training class 55-13. Private First Class Bubbles' leadership, professionalism, and dedication to duty serve as an example for all soldiers to emulate and bring distinct credit upon her, the Peace Through Victory Battalion, the 434th Field Artillery Brigade, and the United States Army. Signed, Joseph D. Roller, Lieutenant Colonel, F.A. Commanding. In addition, the Senior Liaison Advisor, Sergeant Major Abramo, is presenting a Certificate of Accomplishment and a coin to PFC Bumpus on behalf of Colonel Cavanis, the Senior Guard Advisor to Fort Sill, Oklahoma.